that isolated the people who had had a heart attack in the past, the cardiology population that we're seeing, and they were doing a ketogenic diet, it was a 53% increase in mortality. No one should be doing this. What's up, guys? Uh, I usually don't do this, but the team told me I had to watch this insane video that I guess is going viral from a top cardiologist that's claiming that no one in the world should ever do a ketogenic diet. So I, I, I usually don't, just don't even worry about this stuff, but I'm curious to hear some of these thoughts, and I want to address them because I think it's a, an important topic, right? Because I think so many people are jumping on this clickbait concept of they need to feel like, hey, I'm getting a message out there. They need to feel like someone's actually listening to them. So they make up some insane argument of, oh, keto's gonna kill you, or oh, coconut oil is poison. So they try and feel relevant in the world. So I'm trying to, to really rationalize and, and see what this guy's gonna bring to the table as far as any evidence to his point. Uh, I, they told me he was a vegan. Is he a vegan? He's a vegan uh, doctor, cardiologist. And so I'm curious, they, they, he's bringing up some points about meat right now. There are no safe animal products is what he's claiming. False. Stop eating hot dogs and ham and start eating hamburger. The difference between red meat and processed red meat is absolutely huge. But there are no safe animal products. All of them will increase your mortality by some degree. The question is, how much is that degree? And so I give that to patients. I give it to doctors. I show it at every conference. Um, that is, you know, if you, and they broke it down to cause specific mortality, uh, cardiovascular death, cancer death, and other, and then all of them together. Um, the two biggest surprises is that dairy was not associated with cancer death. That was a surprise. The other surprise was that eggs were worse than processed red meat in cancer. And processed red meat is on the World Health Organization's carcinogen oh list. Oh my God. Uh, class one carcinogen, and eggs were worse. Um, but all of them pretty much were on the side of producing heart disease. Um, the eggs didn't reach statistical significance, probably because so many people died of cancer and dead people don't have heart attacks. Uh, I, I, can't watch, I can't watch this anymore. Holy shit. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but his last statement was that uh, eggs are worse than processed red meat, um, which I don't even know what he's trying to, to make that claim, but he also said that eggs didn't reach statistical significance because so many people got cancer, and I'm assuming he's attributing the egg consumption to people getting cancer. Oh man, this is frustrating. I, I, actually, I actually wanna bring up this point, and I'm sure a lot of people might get uh, butthurt about this, but I wanna preface it by saying that there are a ton of amazing doctors in the world. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to do on ketogenic.com is highlight some of the doctors that at least at some level support the utilization of the ketogenic diet or ketogenic therapies. I think those individuals are doing great work. We want to make sure we showcase them and let the world know who they are because they're taking a step out and saying, you know what, this is what I'm, I'm supporting this for whatever reason. But in the same token, I brought this point up at KetoCon and everyone was, was super surprised by it and super supportive of it. But at some level, in all seriousness, I, I wanna make the claim of, of saying, at what level do we hold doctors accountable and literally start filing malpractice lawsuits for them being completely naive and against, radically against, at least being open to this therapy? With all the research and scientific backing that there is at this point, I think it's, I think it's absolute insanity that someone wouldn't even be open to the idea of utilizing a ketogenic therapy unless, in his words, they want to die faster. Like that's, to me, that's malpractice. And it blows my mind. It gets me really upset and angry about it because you look at so many incredible individuals like Prof Noakes, who comes out and throws one tweet out in the world talking about a mother that's breastfeeding and then weaning them onto higher fat diets. And the guy goes to court for three, four years and is now back at it because they're claiming that he's making some type of medical claim. And yet you have doctors that come out like this or even doctors that come out in, in support of ketogenic therapies or dietitians that come out in support of ketogenic therapies and get so much backlash from people and their licenses are at risk, but then you have 
people like this guy uh, and many other cardiologists, doctors in the world who come out and are not only radically uh, against a ketogenic diet, but he's recommending something that for most people probably isn't ideal for body composition, overall health. And I don't have anything against people that choose being a vegan or a vegetarian for certain reasons, but to completely disregard and, and belittle eggs or high quality meat for anything other than religious reasons, there's no data to support that or to show that or any other reason. If you're doing it because of, uh, of certain uh, beliefs that you have, that's completely fine. But to belittle eggs and think that they're gonna cause cancer is absolute insanity. There's zero evidence for that. Whether you wanna look at a correlational study or not, there's nothing to support that evidence. And so for someone to come out like that, I look at that as more malpractice and Prof Noakes putting out any type of tweet that he's ever gonna put out. So that to me is scary because that's someone's cardiologist, that's someone's doctor, and at the end of the day, they're gonna look to that doctor for advice and him giving that advice will likely harm someone long-term if they follow his dietary advice or they're afraid of consuming certain foods just because someone said so. And that's one of the things that gets me lit gets me fired up because that's not right, right? It's, it's difficult and it's sad to know that at some level, someone will listen to that information and someone, that is someone's doctor. And like I said, I'm complete, I'm not against it by any means. I'm super supportive of people that choose a lifestyle for whatever reason they have, but for certain reasons that just aren't legitimate or aren't true, like eggs, thinking that eggs are causing cancer that's absolutely not true. So if someone goes vegan or vegetarian because they think that red meat or they think that eggs are causing cancer, that's completely inaccurate. And so that's where I think people like this that are spouting that information, it just becomes challenging. It becomes uh, disheartening to some level. And that's why I think it's so important for us to do what we do, probably putting out a lot of this information, content, bringing in people, experts, and looking at the actual science and actual information. And so I wanted to get on and jump on that because I think it's a very important piece. I think a lot of people have been coming out and you've seen the coconut oil is poison. You've seen these individuals come out making videos saying no one should be on a ketogenic diet. Um, it's saving people's lives. Um, I think it's helping people on a completely different scale. So I encourage people to, to work with their physicians if your physician isn't in support of the lifestyle that you are, it's very simple. Find a new physician. <laughs> and, and I think that's one of the take homes that I hope people take home from today. And I think there's a ton of incredible doctors out there. There's a ton of incredible dietitians, nutritionists, etc., that are out there supporting this lifestyle. Find the right people. Uh, and you know, I think, I think it's very important for you to do so. I mean, this has just been painful. I couldn't even get through the entire video. It was, it was painful to even get through the first half and these guys forced me to watch it um, because it's just, it's sad to see that there's someone out there putting out this type of information when in actuality it's completely disregarding any type of scientific information or credibility that's out there today. So guys, I appreciate y'all. Uh, keep tuning in. If you, if you enjoy some of these videos, enjoy some of the things that we're putting out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, I'll definitely be addressing a lot more stuff like this if it comes out. These guys always keep me on our toes because I don't see a lot of it come out and I try and no one that I know focuses on any of this junk because it's, it's exactly that, it's junk. Uh, so disregard it. Again, if you're, if you're having trouble, check out our doctor locator. We're going to be uploading a ton more new doctors with that and there are incredible doctors out there, incredible dietitians, incredible mentors that are here to support that lifestyle. So. This information is just junk, absolute insanity. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Just wanted to jump on and let you guys know we love your feedback. So let us know in the comments uh, what you'd like to hear more about. And then also on all the different social media platforms that we have. We'll make positivity louder, share this information with everyone. We really appreciate you guys tuning in.